Ladies, today we're discussing 15 of my favorite and most complimented cooler weather fragrances. Cue the music! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by. So for many of us, fall is officially a few days away. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm freaking excited. Don't get me wrong, I love my freshies. But there's just something about that cool, crisp air that makes you crave those perfumes that are a little bit richer and deeper. In this video, I'll be going over 15 perfumes of all price ranges that I cannot wait to start wearing and that have also given me some amazing feedback. Onto the list. Kicking off this video, we have one honorable mention because there's simply no way that I could have left this out completely. It's Dior's Hypnotic Poison. Such a staple in any woman's collection and the definition of an oldie but goody. Beautiful creamy almond, vanilla and coconut that is literally hypnotic and I've no doubt had some amazing memories with this one. Sadly, it's not nearly as potent as it used to be, but I gotta give respect to where it's due. At the number 10 spot, and by the way guys, these are in no particular order, is a seriously underrated perfume that I don't think I've seen anybody talk about. It's Hypnose by Lancome. To me, this is so unique because it has a very tropical, fruity, and slightly soapy nature to it. But the dry down reminds me of a soft, cozy cashmere blanket with a powdery and sweet. 2000 years late. Amber vanilla combination to it. Apologies, guys. I just had a mini mind fart. So comforting and easy to wear and definitely my go-to for more casual days and nights. Moving on to the house of Anne Mikalev and we have Mon Parfum. 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 I will never be able to get it anyways. If Mungler's Angel and Narciso Rodriguez for her had a beautiful, high quality and niche perfume baby, this will be the outcome. To me, this is for a boss woman, you know, in a professional setting with a nice blazer and all, you know, who still wants to give off a sexy, feminine, but slightly classic feel. Be ready for some serious attention because this has also gotten me some very, very nice compliments. Coming in at number 13 is the infamous Cloud by Ariana Grande. Some of you adore it, some of you hate it. Most men love it, but at the end of the day, this is currently the best alternative to Baccarat Rouge by 40. I mean, if you're like me and you still haven't been able to drop the big bucks on the real thing, this honestly gets the job done. And it's damn cheap, baby. By the way, guys, I just ordered the new intense version, so stay tuned for that video. The next one here is actually fairly new to my collection, but I gotta say, I'm very happy to own it. It's Santal Complet by Fragrance Dubois. <laughs> That's what this is. This is one of the few fragrances that actually makes my mouth water. You're getting a prominent vanilla and sandalwood, but for me, the main accord is a delicious maple toffee scent that's so Yummy. I really do wish this performed better, but sometimes you can't have it all. My number 11 spot is absolutely no stranger to the channel and is Versace's Crystal Noir EDT. How many times am I gonna feature this fragrance on the channel, you ask? Forever. Ladies, this is seduction in a bottle, period. The perfect scent for nights out, dates, or in bed. Probably in my top five most complimented fragrances of all time, and the men go nuts for it. I don't know if you can see, but this bottle is almost empty. Need I say more? Speaking of being in bed, next up is Killian's Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Ding, 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 ding. No, that's a different song. What is it? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Hey. This one is all about the florals, but not your typical florals. These are some thick, darker, more mature florals. These are some thick petals. That call for a lot of confidence. For some reason, every time I smell this, I'm reminded of those classy and mysterious women from the 1940s, smoking those cigarettes with the long vintage holders. 
you know? I love the feeling of sophistication this gives me and it's a whole mood every time I wear it. Hashtag mood. Okay, now we're talking about an inexpensive gem and probably one of my favorite celebrity fragrances of all time. It's Glow After Dark by JLo. This is fun, playful, flirty, and a little bit reckless. It's the type of perfume that puts me in the vibe of a one night stand with absolutely no regrets the next day. N not that I do one night stands, but you know, a girl can imagine. Super unique with a tropical passion fruit, booziness, and a good dose of patchouli, and just a carefree perfume that is ultra cheap. All right, guys, this next fragrance might raise a few eyebrows because it's definitely polarizing. We're talking Tom Ford's Metallique. This is a weird scent, but I love it. On one hand, it's very crisp, clean, and sparkly, but it's also very warm, musky, and vanillic. People have said that this smells like Sprite and even pizza, and oddly enough, this makes complete sense to me. Needless to say, if you're looking for a scent with a strong character, this is it. So I feel like the word vanilla has come up a lot in this video. But if you are a die-hard vanilla lover, then this is a must-try for you. It's Amouage's material. Some of the highest quality vanilla you've ever come across, with incredible boozy and animalic touches to it. So rich, so deep, and something that you will no doubt want to save for special occasions. It is quite expensive, but always makes me feel like a beautiful piece of walking art. This next perfume is perfect for my ladies out there who love their fresher, more summery fragrances and want something in that same vein that will still cut through the cooler months. It's Dolce & Gabbana Garden. I first smelled this on a girl a few years ago and I was like, what the f are you wearing? Since then, I was taken by this scent. A pretty mainstream release with very sweet, fruity floral and coconut accords, but damn, it's a banger. Moving back to the 20 to $30 range, we have a very nostalgic perfume for me. It's Hugo Boss Deep Red. So this one was my older sister's signature scent when we were younger, and I always loved to smell this on her. Unfortunately, she didn't even let me go near it not even to touch it, because it was her signature scent. It was hers. But you know something, sis? I'm wearing it now. <laughs> a sexy, slightly mature night out scent with a beautiful black currant note and musky powdery undertones. And here in my hand is arguably one of the greatest gourmand fragrances ever created. It's Sweetie Aoud by Raja Parfum. Truly a masterpiece, in my humble opinion. If you wanna smell like the most luxurious bakery that just put out some buttery, fresh, flaky pastries with fruits and a golden flake on top, just for, just for fun, for the hell of it, it's right here. But it's also so much more than that. An incredibly high quality, deep and complex fragrance that you you really just need to experience this for yourself. Next up is hands down one of my favorite fragrances of all time, regardless of season. It's Tom Ford's Black Orchid EDP. Powerful, bold, yet chic and mysterious. This is what I wear when I simply wanna feel like a million bucks. You will pretty much own the room with this one. Firstly, because it's a beast performer, but also because of the downright sexual mix of chocolate, patchouli, truffle, and florals. A seriously dangerous weapon right here, ladies. Heading over to the house of Givenchy, and we're talking about a stunning powerhouse, and it's called Lindertit Intense. And it's literally intense. Tuberose, lots of sesame and vanilla are the star players here, and when you wear this baby, you will be the star player as well. Sweet and smooth with a candied fruitiness, this stuff will project to the next room and stay on your clothes for days. One of my biggest compliment getters of 2021 and a must try for fall. All right, ladies, as I mentioned earlier, none of these fragrances were in any particular order, but this one is definitely my current number one for cooler weather. It's Nirvana Black, 
by Elizabeth and James. I have been in love with this perfume for years, but for some crazy ass reason, I've only got a full bottle of these a few months ago. One of the most sensual and intoxicating sandalwood vanilla scents I've ever smelled, with a unique violet note that adds an airy floral freshness. I wore this the other day during one of my musical performances, and I kid you not, the male singer came up to me, meet song, literally, and he was like, what are you wearing? Such a wow scent for me. So there you have it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to comment down below and let me know what fragrances are you looking forward to wearing this fall. Also, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and turn on your bell notifications. See you soon.